according to Boxing News 247.com, Teddy Atlas, he says that Anthony Joshua, he steps the feet way too easily and that um, he fought too cautiously, too safely, and he didn't fight a fighter with nothing left to lose. He, he also said that um, Anthony Joshua, he's made a lot of money in his career and he doesn't feel like he has a need to, you know, go all, go all out in his fights. And I completely agree with Teddy Atlas. Uh, Teddy Atlas is right about this. Anthony Joshua, look at him. Um, after the fight, he was so gassed out. Uh, he like he wanted to pass out. He was all smiles. He didn't look any type of pissed off. He didn't look dis really disappointed. He just looked calm, relaxed, and spaced out, to be honest. And then you look at the post-fight interview. He's like, oh, you know, uh, Alex Uzik, he was the better man in the fight. Uh, you know, it's not more what he did, right? It's more the opportunities I gave to him. You know, that sounds all cool and all. But, you know, you should also be saying, like, you know, he was the better man, but so what? I'm going to come in the rematch and rip his head off. Uh, you know, I want to brutally knock Ozan Uzga out. He doesn't have that same ferocity in his tone. And, like, you're taking pictures of yourself with Ozan Uzik after the fight. I mean, that doesn't really look that right, to be honest. And if you look at Anthony Joshua and he was staring down Ozan Uzik, you see that Ozan Uzik had to stare, you know, of a kill in his eyes. He wanted to win the fight. That's what separates Anthony Joshua from the top heavyweights. Alexander has Alexander Uzik has the le look of death in his eyes. So does Tyson Fury. So does Deontay Wilder and all the other heavyweights. Anthony Joshua, he's too calm. He's too relaxed. He needs to go into the ring and just unleash his, his power on Alexander Uzik. He has a 20-pound weight advantage. He's much bigger. He's stronger. And he hits harder. Okay, we know he has a weak chin. But if he has a good defense, he can cover that up. In my personal opinion, the best thing that Anthony Joshua can really do to beat Alexander Uzik in the rematch is three things. He needs to improve his stamina. Um, you know, work, work on the, the high, use the high guard like Ricky Wright did, and um, let go of the pass. I feel like Anthony Joshua he's holding on to the pass too much. When he got brutally knocked out, brutally stopped by Andy Ruiz, uh, you know, you seen him get more and more cautious in his fights, and that's not a good thing. Against Alexander Uzik, who's a very, very skilled boxer. He's going to take advantage of those moments and use those to counter you, move around the ring, and make you miss a lot of your shots. Anthony Joshua, like I said, he needs to improve his stamina because he gasses out in the sixth or seventh round of a lot of his fights, and you really cannot do that against Alexander Uzik. Alexander Uzik did not really get tired at any point in this fight, and it looked like in the 12th round he was about to finish Anthony Joshua. And for the high guard, like I said, Mickey Wright used a high guard to block a lot of punches. Anthony Joshua has long enough forearms to, to block with his body. Uh, use the high guard, you know, to block shots because we know he doesn't have the best reaction time to, when uh, somebody's hitting him. So that's a good defense for Anthony Joshua to use considering he's a slow, lumbering fighter. He needs to use his weight, use his jab, and get aggressive. That's the only way I can see him beating Alexander Uzik. If he comes in here trying to box Alexander Uzik, I can see Alexander Uzik potentially getting a stoppage. Alexander Uzik, when he was asked about his performance, he said that he wanted to even go even further. And that definitely tells me that in the rematch, he's definitely going to be going for a knockout. Only thing I want to see from Anthony Joshua in the rematch is just to come back, come better. I don't care if Anthony Joshua loses. He'll have the respect of the fans and everybody if he just comes in there and gives it all. But, you know, with Anthony Joshua, we don't know, man. This dude is too relaxed. He's too gracious of a winner. We just want to see, um, you know, the killer side come out of Anthony Joshua. We want to see him dig deep. Uh, it's been a minute since we've seen Anthony Joshua come back from adversity and actually survive. Uh, last time we seen that was against um, Vladimir Klitschko, where he was dropped in that fight, but he came back to stop to knock out uh, Vladimir Klitschko, and it showed that he can take a punch. He showed that he had, he come back from adversity, and you know we really haven't seen that from Anthony Joshua. When Alexander Uzik outboxed him and dominated him, he didn't really make that many adjustments. When he did make some adjustments in the fight, uh, he stopped getting off of him when he was actually going down to the body, using his weight, throwing powerful shots. That's what he's doing the rematch. If you get him against Andrew Ruiz, same thing. Andrew Ruiz, he dropped him. And after that, it was just a wrap for Anthony Joshua. He couldn't come back. Anthony Joshua, he needs to, another thing he needs to do is also make adjustments in the ring and learn, you know, that you can't always rely on trainers for everything in the ring. Uh, you know, Anthony Joshua, look at us, a lot of his interviews, he always says that he's learning the game. Well, it's time that you master the game. You are a great boxer. Yes, you have your weaknesses inside the ring, but you can use your strengths in the ring to beat Alexander Uzik. That's the only way that I think he's going to beat Alexander Uzik is using his weight and his size and his power. So I hope that, you know, we get an actual war in the rematch with both fighters trying to go at it with each other. 
But, you know, it's a high likely chance that uh, Anthony Joshua is going to be playing it safe. So, you know, I'm cautious about the rematch, but I'm picking out Vinda Uzik by stoppage. Uh, but this is my take on it, though. But to wrap this up, this was not seeing the dream. Rocking chairs and they says to sleep. I hot shall another one. Peace.